Welcome home, Bitcoin truth seekers. It is Monday, November 30th, 809 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. The market is open. The week has started. Life returns back to normal. It's a wonderful thing. Bitcoin coming in at 19,676. I have seen this thing with almost to 19,900 already today. Ethereum over 600 XRP at 66%. Litecoin coming in at $83 and Link at $14. Cardano is 16 cents. Once again, we are rocking this morning. All right, the trading volume last 24 hours is 3 billion, 1.6 billion of that is on Binance and Coinbase not doing bad either. That's 399 million, all right? Longs versus short sentiment on Binance is long, 78% long, 21% short. The uh, Bitcoin rainbow chart is rocking. We're right in line with where we should be. We are in accumulation mode. It's good to go. All right, stock to flow model. I love this little chart. This is from this is from Biffy in the uh, Bitcoin Daily View trading chat. Um, we are right where we should be during this halving cycle. We have quite a ways to go. Are we going to see a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin before long? I think we very well might. I will link to this in the show notes. It's worth keeping an eye on. Traditional markets are opening. Meh, no big deal. SPX and the red has a red. Russell 2000 has a red candle, and US dollar, the DXY, has a red candle also. Nothing too rocking happening there. All right, how many gold coins does it take to buy a Bitcoin today? 11.1. All right, on the daily chart, I just wanted to note, as we end it last week, look at this. Everybody's like, it's over the red candle. Now look at this green candle. It's amazing. It's going to go to the moon. Estrogen rich, ridiculous YouTubers and many, many people who just have to fill text on web pages have written so much garbage. Everybody who went short, everybody who was like, it's the end, we gotta retrace, all of you. Boom! I said it wouldn't happen. Stop being stupid. Anyway, look at this the MACD is about to cross positive above the mid range. The histogram is closing. That is wonderful. Look at this three day candle. We had a terrible red one recently. Okay. And now we have a powerful green three-day candle, which will close soon. This one closed on November 26th. This is 27th, 28th, 29th. This one is just now going to close. Beautiful three-day candle. We're back on this beautiful rocket ship to Pluto. Yes, we shook off a little bit of, uh, I would not call, what I call it? We shook off a little bit of liquidity that was needed for big players to come in and buy it up. They were messing with you and all you shorters, you bought it. Why not believe in something for a change? Gosh, just, just sad people in this world. All right, let me kill this fib line. This is a beautiful two hour chart. Actually, let's go back to this over here. On the daily, MACD is still very, uh, on the three daily, MACD is still positive. Daily, MACD is still positive. Let's also look at the uh, four hour candle above the mid range. Still positive, looking wonderful. Um, uh, two hour for a very immediate price action. It's above the mid range. It's widening. Histogram's looking good. We're well above the two minute moving average. I mean, we're looking really good with those big indicators, those big swingers. Two hour chart. Look at this. Boom. We had a cross of the of the two hundred moving average quite a while ago. We've been cruising along. We recently took a hard dip past the uh, 200 moving average to the 314 and we turned around and now we are boom like a rocket ship to Pluto. We are looking really, 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 really good. I mean, we ranged here a little while and it was looking kind of sad. I mean, we're like, this is this is sad to our chart. We're ranging between the 200 moving average and the 314. But what happened? Boom, what you would expect. Now, directional index is green. ADX is catching up. Right now, the RSI is looking wonderful and the KRA, KRI is in the green looking beautiful. We're back in action. We're heading towards that monthly close. This is a big, big deal. If I look at this chart here, my rather big looking, boring one here, let's look at the monthly chart. Also 12 hour, 12 hour MACD has just crossed positive again. Histogram is opening. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That is a powerful one, of course, above the 200 moving average on that one. And looking at the monthly candle, which is about to close in a few hours. Well, um, I forget where most are saying it has to close to be super positive, but I think it's like 18,800 people are hoping for a close above that. Anyway, regardless, we are at 19,825. Could we actually have a monthly candle that closes above the all-time high? It's possible. We are back on a rocket ship to Pluto. All of Little Faith who got wrecked. Well, you know what? It's what you get, shorters. Believe in something. Believe in goodness, for heaven's sakes. Quit it. 
You know, you're letting the Great Reset win when you're like, Bitcoin's got to retrace 30 or 60 <laughs> percent. Oh, you know, anyway. Here's the deal, 45 minute chart. It is beautiful. We are above the 200 moving average. This is very, very short time frame. That's actually a Lambo out there that you hear running. <laughs> no shit. Um, okay, here we go, boom. We are above the 200 moving average. We've broken above it very, very powerfully. We are rocketing. We got a green directional index. ADX is beautiful. RSI is looking good. KRE is wonderful. All is good. I'm sorry. Uh, Got a little highway out there, garage doors open, okay. XRP, USDT on Binance, boom! Above the 200 moving average on the 45 minute chart, it is making a strong move, it's following Bitcoin, directional index is looking good, ADX is a little low. In general, it's a play if you wanna get in, it's moving, I think it's gonna follow Bitcoin, it's basically, basically just do what Bitcoin does, but XRP versus Bitcoin is losing momentum, it's falling below the 200 moving average, so it might get its ass handed to it. But I tell you what, not financial advice ever. I always have to make that extremely clear. But I think a Lambo ass play, okay? Uh, for 2020, actually 2021 as we roll in, uh, end of 2020 as we roll into 2021, is Ethereum versus Bitcoin. I've traded in and out of this a time or two and something that I'm noticing this morning on the short time frame, 45 minute chart. With this Bitcoin pump, this has dumped a bit. Will we get a 200 moving average on the 45 minute chart and return to Lambo mode? We could, that directional index could turn green. Look at that, the KRI and the, and the RSI are very, very low. Plenty of room to go up. Watch this guy, the ADX is already in the right place. Just need the, uh, boom, the directional index to turn around, get a good bounce off this 40, this uh, 200 moving average in the 45 minute chart, and we might be in Lambo mode. I'm telling you, if Ethereum can stay above Bitcoin, this is gonna be the Lambo play of end of 2020 into 2021. With that said, as always, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. I'm a crazy person talking in his garage. Anyway, take care of Bitcoin truth seekers. Something good is happening. I'm looking forward to that monthly close. What if? What if, be positive, you know, be positive in life, be positive in trading, you know? Don't, have, don't be a negative person and tell me, I just trade the chart, I'm like logic. No, you're cynical. Whoever thought we were gonna actually go down and was shorting, you're ridiculous. What were you thinking? You need to reevaluate your life and how you look at things. Monthly chart, what if we close the monthly chart above the all-time high, could you imagine Wow, that'd be rocking. I think it could happen. I'm visualizing that. I think it will. We're at 19,770 right now. Only moments, inches, slightest little bit, a couple sats away from closing above the all-time high. Could you imagine? Well, I'm going to imagine that. Take care, everybody. It's a glorious week. It's a glorious December about to happen. Take care.